Hey everyone, Tony George, DocSports.com. Monday update, free NBA pick coming your way. Yes, I'm wearing the colors. Proud of my team for the year. Not proud of my team for yesterday's performance, 83 yards and three points in the second half. How'd that over work out for me, huh? And then there were two, and then depression set in if you're a Kansas City Chief. But congratulations to the Cincinnati Bengals who took advantage of numerous miscues by Kansas City, including bonehead decisions by Patrick Mahomes throughout the second half and at the end of the first half, along with Andy Reid. Uh, making some bad play calls down the stretch. Uh, Eric Bieniemy didn't help himself out any in the coaching search with some bad offensive plays. But the Cincinnati Bengals does what any team does in an underdog on the road. They took advantage of miscues and they turned them into points and they got it done. Especially in overtime. And Andy Reid got his ass coached off in that game in the second half. Halftime adjustments by... Uh, uh, Cincinnati's coaching staff, um, Taylor in general, uh, got them uh, going there and they put it to Kansas City and what a game in the second game. Um, Jimmy G's not going to take you to the promised land. We had the Rams. I told you to buy him down with the minus 120, 125. Get him off the hook. Nonetheless, not a good day overall, but we have a Super Bowl. And we have the Rams laying four, total 50 over the Cincinnati Bengals. There'll be all kinds of speculation and talk about this. Down the road, um, the main value in the Super Bowl is prop bets, not the side in total. It's the sharpest line in town. Sharpest line in town. Initially, I think there's some value out of the gate. I've already bet it on the side. But uh, we'll be talking about it over the next couple of weeks. We're going to have a big Super Bowl prop show over at Stations Casinos, Red Rock Sportsbook, myself, Scott Spritzer, and Chuck Esposito sit down together in a round table and go over a ton of prop bets for you uh, on at least what would be probably a half hour, 45 minute show. A lot of fun. Be looking forward to that. So, um, I'm not looking forward to my Chiefs not being in the Super Bowl, but everybody's sick of the Chiefs, and they've now become the team you love to hate. Uh, much like the New England Patriots. You respect them, but God, I'm sick of them being there. Well, and they'll be knocking on the door next year. So that being said, hey, they left us for dead on the side of the road here about midseason. Defense was horrible, couldn't score. And next thing you know, we get in the AFC Championship. So they had a good year. There are a lot of teams that would trade a lot of guys that would trade their uh, results with their favorite team for the results that Kansas City had this year. They got to the AFC Championship. They had an 18-point lead oh, at home. Hmm. Falls under the category. Let me clean this up to be politically correct in this, in this uh, PC world that we're living in. Crap happens. And it happened yesterday, damn it. That being said, hey, look, I'll eat my I'll eat my humble pie. I'll eat it. Nonetheless, today, doubleheader in college basketball, eight and three runs as we revamped our college basketball, stuck with all small conference stuff, throwing in some totals and uh, doing well. Um, passing in the NBA today, did not like. I liked uh, the New York Knicks today. Um, they opened up three and a half, four, and it just shot up. Sacramento's not playing anybody. They're at the end of the road trip. Might be a lean there for you if you wanted to go that route. Um, but nonetheless, that was the game I was keyed in on. Insane results yesterday in the NBA. Um, Orlando beats Dallas straight up. Wow. Denver blows out Milwaukee. Wow. I mean, you go down the list of scores on Sunday and just shake your head and go, what in the world? I think only two favorites on the day covered. Um, that being said... Um, we also have an NHL play today. Let's get to your uh, free pick tonight. This is a first half line play in the NBA. Uh, big game tonight. Memphis is taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. Memphis is one of the hottest teams in the NBA. Um, they are playing great basketball right now. They're a two and a half point underdog um, on the road here. Uh, I like them on the first half line. Interesting. They're catching two and a half points as an underdog for the game, but the first half line, they are laying a point and a half for good reason. They're one of the best first half teams in the NBA. Uh, they're seventh in the NBA in first half scoring. 
Um, their last three games, they have averaged 61 points per game in the first half. Philadelphia, the 22nd ranked first half scoring team in the NBA, only scoring 51. I like Memphis. First half, minus a point and a half for your free play today on Monday. Get over to Docs, take advantage of the free 60 bucks. Have a great Monday, guys and gals.